What it is, what it does, double C Cruise, your boys, Daddy Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? Some up bang! Today I have Ellie Soul, and today we're doing a snow crab party. Yes, Z C C family. Today we're doing a snow crab for strap. I was say for strap fiesta. Uh, for this, I was gonna say fiesta, and I think I mixed a strap fiesta with fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, ZCC family, yes, uh, oh, it's a lot going on in the ZCC family house. Yeah. So we're going to get into that. Let's get a prayer and a thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. All right. And let's get it started. Let's get it on. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> I feel like all the radio station. <laughs> so yes, there's a lot going on with us, you guys. It's uh, it's hectic. The next video that was supposed to come out was called was our date. Well, I can't tell you. It was a date that we. I was going to say the name. It was a date we we're going to take you guys out on. Mm -hmm. But we're having some technical difficulties here in the ZCC camp, and our videographer. Computer has broken down. Yeah. So unfortunately, that even though we said that that was gonna be the next mm -hmm. thing to drop, we're having to um, create something in the moment. Mm -hmm. You guys know we have a, our lineup, and let me tell you guys, the stuff that we had lined up for y'all. That's great content. It was just so different. We were really trying to like step out of the box and do different things. So it really put a damper in our spirit uh -huh. when we found out that we're not going to have any of that content available to post. We had, um, what, four videos and all of them are going to need edits. Yep. I don't want to just upload them as normal videos. No, because they were special. Again, we were mm -hmm. stepping out of the box. We were mm -hmm. trying to be creative. So right now, this video, as we're talking about, is legit current live <laughs> uh, today. What's today? It's Tuesday? Mm hmm So yeah, this is being filmed. This is either dropping today. The latest is uh tomorrow. Tomorrow. But yeah, this is an updated video. Cause we had no nothing in the well we got stuff in the chamber, but everything in the chamber needs edits. Yeah. <sighs> so I'm really sad and bummed out about that, you guys, because I was, was really excited. It was. Content. it was some fun stuff. It was some fun stuff and we're excited to share it with y'all. And we felt like you guys just honestly deserved um, that content that we were about to Especially have. after, you know, having a more serious conversation. We're yeah. so happy to take you guys out on a date. Yeah. <laughs> we were to lighten the mood a little bit. Mm -hmm. Bring it back to the why we do this. Yeah. But... It's coming, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's not the time. I just hope that he can get his laptop fixed. I know. Because, yeah, think about it. He already started editing that video. Mm -hmm. so, Wait, does that mean he deleted? Like, from his... Huh? Does that mean, like, if he already started working on it and he loses the laptop, he loses that footage? Mm -hmm. I was not even thinking of that. Yeah, this is how serious this is. Dalvin, I legit was like, oh, his computer is down. Um, but even if he gets another one, like we'll be right back on track. Well, hopefully, I don't know. Cause I don't think he'll have his stuff on his memory card. Hopefully his hard drive. I don't know. Oh, this is getting crazy. Yeah, so there's <laughs> a possible chance we could be losing out on all this. Guys, I would cry. I already wanted to cry, but now I'm definitely gonna cry. I have to go to pray for for a laptop. I never asked for a prayer for an object. <laughs> I need you guys to pray for that laptop. Yes, pray that it'll come alive. Yeah, and I know you guys are probably like, just redo it, but it's like some things no, you, you cannot, cannot recreate. Re you cannot like some things are like in the moment. They mm -hmm. just happen. It happened the way they're meant to. So it's just like recreating. It's just not. Ideal. Just like I said, my video idea. But you know what? Amazing video. The first time, it was hard like now. We tried to make it, we did it on that video. That video, I mean, it was a good video. Guys rocked with it still. But, but y'all would have loved that first one. 
That person was just amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> um, oh, I'm hoping that we can get that bit. Yeah. Alright, well. You've been dipping it in this garlic butter sauce. It's a little cold, so you're not gonna like it. Mmm. It's a little too salty. Well, all of this is a little. No. A little high on sodium. Mm. Mm. Oh. You guys? I recommend, you know, just a bit checked up. Health is wealth. Um, I just recently got checked up and I got some good news. Uh -huh. About my blood pressure being normal. Mm. I said, I don't like that. No, but I know that's something that they always are like worried about. Like, yeah. You know, oh, make sure da, da da da. But it's like I was glad to see all your stuff come back. Yeah. In really, really good health. Yeah. Obviously, you know, the doctor says a typical thing. You know, you should uh, diet, exercise, and things of that sort. But he said my blood pressure was fine. Uh, our cholesterol. He said it wasn't, uh, he said uh, uh, definitely just make healthier choices, but it's not bad at all. Yeah, nothing alarming. Yeah. I just recommend everybody go get a physical, man. Mm hmm. Go get checked out. Check out on your health. It's definitely very important. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Especially now that we're getting older. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to, I, I was getting up. Um, I was getting up yesterday. Mm hmm. I don't know if I was bending down or just standing up, and I just heard so many cracks. Like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I hope that's not me just getting up. <clears throat> it wasn't hard to get up. It was just I just heard so many cracks, <laughs> as if I haven't got up in like a day. <laughs> you know what it is? It's like that. They say like the elasticity in your body mm -hmm. kind of goes down as you get older. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Your bones get a little harder. Mm -hmm. That looks good. What flavor is that? Actually, it's good. I don't know what flavor that is. Is it watermelon? I think it's like strawberry lemonade, watermelon lemonade, something. And I think those little raindrops on there make it look so appetizing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, stuff is strawberry lemonade. Right? What it tastes like? It tastes fruity. It tastes good. Wow. You guys, we went on a date. We talking about our date? Oh yeah, we went on a date yesterday. Um, a movie date. Yeah, we. I don't know why I was like, as if we never do this. We do this like <laughs> every week. But, mm -hmm. um, we went to go see No. <laughs> but I recommend that movie. Do I recommend No? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean. So. Did I tell you uh, Deja called? Uh, well, not Deja, now you're called. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just cancel that whole thing out. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We're just gonna cancel all that out. <laughs> all right. But other people were like, there was, there was, it was good. I was like, what? What did y'all see? <laughs> all right. So there were some things about it that were good, mm -hmm. but there was a lot about it that was confusing. No. For example, I think the acting was great, I right? Movie I think movie. Kiki did an amazing job with her role. Uh-huh. Um, but it was just very confusing. Mm. Like, it was a whole bunch of stories. I'm like, how do they tie together? I understand the whole animal training thing. And I see someone said, uh, I mean, when we bought the tickets, the guy was like, oh, this is, uh, this is a really good it. movie. <laughs> yeah, he was like, this is worth it. This is a really good movie. And also I seen someone post, <clears throat> it's a 12 out of 10. So I was coming in this oh, with wow. high hopes. Okay. Yeah, it just wasn't it for me, you guys. Mm, yeah. I didn't hate it, but, I was just very confused. I was very confused. I was happy that it wasn't like scary because I was prepared to like be screaming in that theater. Yeah, it wasn't scary at all. It's just totally different from Jordan Peele's first two movies. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And this was Ellie's first Jordan Peele movie, actually. It was. 
Ellie and never seen Get Out or Us, you guys. <clears throat> you gotta see those. No. What do you mean, no? I do not like scary movies. I've avoided seeing scary movies my whole life. They're not I'm scary, like, they're more thrillers. Um, those people looked very scary. They're more of a fatality. Like the way that they were walking, I think I saw one of them walking in the grass all crazy. I was like, oh no. See? <laughs> I can't see that. Like, I'm a baby. I will be in that theater screaming. Remember, yeah. I embarrassed you the last time we went to go see a, a scary movie. Uh huh. You guys, um, there are a lot of good movies coming out though. And I recommend, uh, if you haven't watched this trailer, go watch the trailer of The Woman King. Oh yeah. That. That looks like it's about to go crazy. I love it. What Ellie said to him, like, honestly, I believe in this prediction. I, I agree with your prediction. She gonna buy an Oscar off that movie. Oh, yeah. Viola Davis, this is her role. This and I just seen the previews. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is an Oscar. This is an Oscar with a movie. <laughs> For sure. It's called The Woman King. <clears throat> yeah. Go watch that um, trailer if you haven't. I'm then excited watch, to see. And then they got Wakanda Forever. Yeah, I'm excited to see that one. You guys, I cried just off of the trailer. Okay, Ellie cried off of the trailer. <laughs> no, was, we're not over exaggerating. No, I was crying. I was legit like in tears. I'm so upset about that, but. Why are you crying think, off a trailer? <sighs> because it just breaks my heart. To know that he's up out of here? Yeah, that's just so sad. Yeah. I hate it. I hate having to watch it without him. Mm -hmm. I think he was an amazing person, an amazing actor. Mm -hmm. And I know they're going to pay tribute to him. And I'm just like, not ready to not see him be a part of it, but mm -hmm. then see them. I don't know. I was just emotional already. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to be in that theater, sniff, sniffle. Oh, especially when they start paying tribute to him. Yeah. Probably going to be real sad. I cry watching Lion King. I would cry watching anything. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, and then you guys wonder why I say Ellie's a crybaby. Then you're my crybaby. Because mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, I was just thinking about that mud prank. A lot of people are upset about that mud prank. You oh, made really? her cry. Oh no, God. I, I cry for anything, first of all. No, she does. <laughs> but mm -hmm. specifically that situation, I wasn't crying because of the prank. Mm -hmm. I was really crying out of my emotions mm -hmm. for like, it was like happy tears. Mm -hmm. You guys know I love very hard, but like I was just crying just off of the emotions I felt towards his grandmother and towards my own grandmother that's no longer with me. So it wasn't at all like mean or anything like that. Um, I I just know Dalvin. He knows what like gets me, mm. right? He knows how I am about family. So if it was any other prank, I probably would have been like, yeah. But yeah. this prank, oh yeah, <sighs> he knew he could have got me with that one because. <laughs> He knows how to get to me. I have to go for the juggler. Oh yeah, you know exactly where to go. <laughs> and they did not like that, but no guys, we're all good over here. Ellie's big on our family. Yeah. I am. But no. Ellie's happy. I don't know meanie bobini as you guys think I am. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness, that was hectic. You still able to crack them? Yeah, it's just the, the knuckle ones be so hard. Those are hard, hard yeah. That's what I was going to tell you. Use your teeth because mm -hmm. I use my teeth. I know you guys hate when we use our teeth, but sometimes. And the show's not that hard on our teeth. You got to do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm excited about all the movies coming out. I want to see that scary movie, new movie called Smile. Oh my God, please no. I probably think it's not going to be good. No. What do you think? What about it's not? Are you you're just saying it because it's not gonna? It's gonna be scary. What yeah. about it makes you think it's not gonna be good? Because it's like, <clears throat> I don't know. I just don't like scary movies. I feel it's like excitement. Often, it doesn't have a story. It just has like. It's a thrill, scary. you know. Just like how it is for me eating spicy food. It brings excitement to it. You like to live life on the wild side. See, the only thing, only wild thing I'm not doing is roller coasters. I'm cool on those. <laughs> I'm surprised because you like. It seems like you like to live life on the wild side. You uh, you guys gotta watch this a comp a complication. What is it called? Compilations. Mm -hmm. It's like a whole bunch of mashup of videos. You're saying mm -hmm, you probably don't, you just because you don't even understand. No, I say that word. How do you say compilations? That word? Compilations. Yeah. Uh, where it's a whole bunch of mashups of slingshot, the slingshot roller coaster ride. 
so funny, you guys. I mean, these people pass out. Sorry. They pass out in the middle of the, of the ride. Yeah, that thing is Like, hilarious. as they're up there, they're like... <laughs> that thing it's so is funny. hilarious. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah. I couldn't... Uh, now, roller coasters are not for me. You like roller coasters? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. I do not like the bell. I do not like excitement. I'm just like, leave me on the ground. I'm gonna be where the flowers and the butterflies are. No part. <laughs> what, thr what, what thrills do you like? Thrills? Mm -hmm. Do you have any thrills? Like any adrenaline rush things? Um, adrenaline rush? No. No. Literally, I have I take no risk when it comes to those situations. Like, I just don't. If we ever go to park, I'm like that. Let me hold your bag while you go on the ride, kind of person. And I'll do like the fun stuff, like the little throwing the stuff, popping the balloons, but I'm not going on the ride. <laughs> so I'm thinking of I'm thinking of. So you don't like to be risky. No, literally. I've never, like, in high school when everyone was, like, trying things out, I was like, uh-uh, nope, I'll just stick So you this. couldn't do something in public? <laughs> huh? You wouldn't like that? I don't like risk. Have you ever tried something in public? Like, what kind of something? <laughs> oh, um... Uh -huh. You would be too scared to? Um, maybe. I don't know. It depends. Oh, yeah, no. I'd probably be so scared. I would be so scared. You're a rule follower? I'm such a rule follower. I follow all the rules. <clears throat> I follow every single rule. I'm so how'd you feel rule. when we were just randomly making out like PDA is okay though? Yeah, I feel like PDA is okay as long as you know you're aware of your surroundings and you're not going a little crazy. Mm -hmm. What um, you were going crazy? Who? You. We were in a parking lot and there was nobody <laughs> else there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tomato, tomato. If I knew there were like children around, I would obviously not have went that crazy. But um, yeah, like I don't know. Mm. But I don't feel like you're crazy on like living. Well, yeah, you do. You be doing crazy stuff. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. I like to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, too. Mm. What do you mean? Mm. <clears throat> like car, car play. You know, it's just like. I haven't done that since I was a teenager. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're too grown to be <laughs> one of stuff in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this stage of my life, like, I definitely need comfort. Like, I'm not, yeah, no. That was, like, <laughs> was high school. Hold on, we getting old? Old. <laughs> We're getting old. Yeah, no, that does not give me a thrill. Mm -hmm. It's like, I want to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be a wham bam, thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> but some people, like even in relationships, like that's mm -hmm. a thrill. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like that's what gets them going. Huh? Mm. That's what keeps things exciting. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm. Um. Oh. Mm -hmm. For me, let's just have fun together. Right. I know everything else is going to be good, you know? That's my thing. I don't feel like anything outside of us is like, needs to happen for us to have fun. <laughs> or for us to enjoy anything at all. It's like, yeah, it's cool, but I don't need it to enjoy our time. Mm -hmm. Oh, seriously. Mm -hmm. One thing that me and Ali have in common that we love to do is go out to eat. Mm -hmm. And try new restaurants. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That Lately we've been trying some restaurants, guys. Right? Uh -huh. Oh. Can we talk about it? <laughs> well, yeah, we've been going to some restaurants and you know, I'm uh I'm not a picky eater, but I'm just I'm, I'm definitely not a picky eater. I'm no. like a whatever. <clears throat> You're not a picky eater. Mm -hmm. When you don't like something, mm -hmm. I know that restaurant is like literally I don't wanna say trash, but like mm -hmm. it is just not good. Yeah. 
So we've been to a couple places where it's just like, I'll never go back again. Ever. Ever. <laughs> we just recently went to a place called Chewy's. Mm. You guys know about it. Uh, it's like a Hispanic uh, Tex-Mex restaurant. And uh, I tried it one time in Ohio. And when I had it in Ohio, I, I didn't like it at all. But then y'all you know, should get memories because it was in Ohio. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it could have just been a bad day. You know, the way I was at, it was the majority of white people in that neighborhood. Mm. So I'm like, okay. There's Chewy's in Houston. Houston is mostly a Hispanic city. Right. You know, big, not Hispanic, uh, big old Hispanic culture here. Maybe it's different at Chewy's here. So I decided to give Chewy's a chance again. A horrible experience. Terrible. <laughs> I mean, and, the food was not good. The um, drinks were not good. And um, I felt bad. I'm like, I still tip. Obviously, I tip the server and stuff. I'm like, do people judge chips off of the food? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Because right, the food sucked. You had great service, but the food sucked. And I, once again, like I said, I tipped them. Yeah. But imagine that though. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that was. Mm -mm. Yeah. That was mm. not it. And like their salsa, guys, is like soup. Mm -hmm. Like they legit gave us like hot sauce. Like they were like, oh, we don't have hot sauce. We yeah, have salsa. Exactly. And we're like, oh, okay, that's fine. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we like a good salsa. I told them to give me their spiciest salsa. Uh uh. They came out with some some warm soup. some chipotle soup. <laughs> <laughs> and it was too. One of them tasted like a like a tomato soup. Uh huh. And the other one was like a chipotle soup. Yeah, and it was yeah, it was just hectic. And then. Also, it would be dipping sauce, the chips and dip. Mm -hmm. The chips, I mean, the, well, the chips were super thin. Oh, I hate that. Mm -hmm. The chips were, they were like, like airy. Like mm -hmm. they would just crumble upon like picking it up. And then also, um, the, um, the one of the dips they gave us was like a ranch sauce. Tell me, was it? It was a ranch. It was legit ranch. <laughs> like, like ranch. Homemade to, ranch. Yep, to dip your chips into. We should have known that that was. That was <laughs> right then and there, we should have. Uh, we should have watched that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then they gave us some salsa. The salsa was like very soupy salsa, like not enough chunkiness, you know? Mm hmm. So. <clears throat> yeah, Chewy's was a no. Uh -uh. It was a never again. Absolutely bad. And then um, we went to a restaurant at the airport. But that was in Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. Horrible. I don't Horrible. know what that was called. Off the, I don't know what that was called. But that was literally bad. That was And I so got like bad. some safe, mint, safe stuff too. Like I got cod. Yeah. I feel like that's a pretty safe thing to get. You got fish and chips? Fish and chips, yeah. What did I get, babe? Um, a burger. Did you get I think so. A chicken sandwich. It was something. Mm -hmm. And this lady was like, yeah, that's the good stuff. Like, you know, the food here is amazing. Hyping it up. Hyping it up. And we were like, all right, like this sounds okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I would have been better off getting like McDonald's from around the corner. Yeah, that was horrible. And uh, the like the fish was, Gross. the fish was just hectic. <laughs> Um, I mean, even the fries. How do you mess up fries? The fries are mad bad. <laughs> the best thing they have is coleslaw. <laughs> and the coleslaw is the free side that they, that they give you guys. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, this is so bad. It was so bad that Dalvin like, was like, this is not uh, edible. Yeah, it was to that point where it's like, I didn't, I, well, I didn't finish my food. I you finished did. the coleslaw. You, that was it. You, you literally took that one bite from the fish and you could not eat that. Mm -hmm. And that says a lot. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a picky eater. Mm -hmm. I can eat at a lot of places. Mm -hmm. There's been times where you didn't really love your food or like mm -hmm. your food and you still ate it and finished it. Oh, yeah. When you couldn't even eat it, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that place was hectic. Mm -mm. Uh, never again. It's not a lot of times where I'll just say no. Mm hmm Like, this is not a... That was so bad. It was real hectic. And it was not cheap either. No, oh, yeah, because, you know, it was at a rest. I mean, it's a restaurant in the airport, so, you know, they tax, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. And I think that's my first time you can get a restaurant at the airport. Yeah. Like, whenever I grab food, I always grab something. From the... Like, the little stores. Yeah. Just eat a sandwich or something. We might as well have had done that for real. Mm-hmm. Um, I have ate at a restaurant before in a, in a thing, and it wasn't bad, but... Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes they be hyping them up too much. Uh, uh, what about California? Uh, oh, that was bad. California, what is it? California, California Pizza Kitchen? Kitchen? Yeah, that was pretty oh, bad. No, that was horrible. But now that may be a controversial one. Some people may love California Pizza Kitchen. That's fine, but <laughs> for me, it just did not have enough anything. It just it was, just was so bland. Yeah. It was the most bland food I've ever, like, and it looked so promising. Mm -hmm. That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I was really excited when I saw that menu. So excited. I thought it was going to be real good. But we were like sitting that. there like, oh my god, this is about to be our spot. Mm -hmm. I got spaghetti, we got pizza, we got... Simple stuff, like... Oh, wow. what did you get? Um, what did I get? I don't even know if I just... <laughs> was it a salad? A salad? Yeah, it was a salad. Is that fruit salad? Oh yeah, how do you mess up a salad too? Yeah. It's just like, mm -hmm. it was too many simple stuff that were just not And then good. recently, yeah, we've just been running to a lot of recent places where it's just like, oh, this is hectic. Yeah. And I don't know if it's just my taste buds are changing or <laughs> uh, things are just getting hectic, but I usually never say like no to stuff. Yeah. Like I'm telling you, California Kitchen was one of those places where it was like, I don't even want to eat this. Mm -hmm. I am gonna give them one more chance. It's a their, their drink was good though. I'll give them uh -huh. one. They had a good drink. But I'm gonna give one last chance in that shape. I'm surprised. I I don't want to give them another chance. Oops. You don't want to? Oh, that hit me. Okay. Um. No, I don't want to because I feel like. Oh, because feel like what? Oh, uh, like if I go somewhere and like if the food was overcooked mm. or undercooked. Or something like that. I'm like, all right, I can give it another try because maybe it was just a bad day, a bad chef, bad timing, whatever. Yeah. But it was like there was nothing really wrong with the food other than it was just bland. Yeah. And it's like I just don't foresee that that sh one chef was just decided that he, yeah. he wasn't about to like spice the food a little bit. Well, I was gonna say if they got like I know I saw that they have a steak on their menu. Uh huh. So I'm gonna try that. All right. Um. Uh, I mean, if you want to, we could go back. <laughs> we could go back. <laughs> but this video that we just did, this restaurant bang we just did, you guys, I'm going to say it name because it's going to come out soon. <clears throat> well, hopefully soon. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a place that had beautiful that was, food and it was, was smacking. Amazing. Like everything smacked. Yeah. That was some good food right mm -hmm. there. I don't know, you guys probably like, I was just saying that because. You guys did the restaurant. Mm -mm. But I wouldn't hype yeah. it up and for no reason if uh because right now I'm not this is not the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. But no, that food was absolutely like amazing. Yeah, so the next restaurant I think that comes out the very next one. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to rock with that one, man. Cause I'm telling y'all right now, mm -hmm. that food was great. Y'all see so, the name and everything when it comes out. Yeah. Like I wouldn't go back there. I told Dalvin right away, like Mm -hmm. We need to come back here just to eat. Mm -hmm. I want to come here on Sundays. I want to come here with my friends. Like, and I network with so many people. Like, that's a place to network, you know? Mm -hmm. Those uh, other girls were, those two girls were content creators. Yep. And, they also and they're content. also foodies. Yeah. But they do it on, <laughs> they I do think it they on do Instagram. it on Instagram. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I need to get into, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Get on Instagram, Papa. Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. You okay? That's a lot of sneezing. I know you want that corn. Oh, can I? Thanks. Oh, I took this. Are you okay? Mm. Mm. Are you gonna oh, sneeze bottom. again? Ah, listen up. <laughs> Bless you. That was hectic. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was just growing. Thank you, honey. No! I really just want to eat all the corn. I only gave us three corn because we probably got to order it. These are like three corns that came with it. Mm hmm. Oh, well, we are going to get corn with this too. Mm hmm. And when did you just become this big fan of corn? You never were a fan of corn like I was. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I always was a corn eater. You were, but lately? <clears throat> I've been on one with the corns. I don't know why. I can't tell you. And that's a good corn to me. You see, I, that's the corn no, I, I thought like you don't like. No, I like the corn we had the other day. Mm -mm, that's that Where was that one from? 
That one's soft and everything. I don't know that. Where's the corn we had the other day? It's from a seafood little fuck, right? This place? I don't know which one. <laughs> yeah, that corn the other day it was. Did you like that elote corn from Taco Truck? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was really good. The ingredients are good. You guys, I was having that talk with this with Ellie. What? What makes something authentic? Mm. What makes a taco place an authentic taco place? <laughs> or what makes like, the same thing like, oh, this is true Spain food, this is true Jamaican food. Mm -hmm. Is it because that person, the person got to be Jamaican cooking it? No. Or is it the ingredients? I was also, it's the, in my opinion, it's the menu and the ingredients. Like the menu has to be authentic, like what? If you went to that country, that's what you would eat. Yeah. So I'm saying, okay, so what makes a taco authentic? The ingredients and the the corn, um, you know, shell. So I'm saying if, if Taco Bell get corn shells and some chorizo or some cilantro <laughs> or some steak, would they be authentic? No, because their menu is not authentically met. How's it not? What things are missing? The ingredients, the, like the, the, the ground beef with the lettuce, tomatoes, and that's an American dish. That's yeah, but they can have a they can have a, 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 a authentic dish, correct? Yeah, but it's still not be considered an authentic restaurant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, okay, it won't be considered I think the restaurant. Mm -hmm. But I can if they end up getting uh, corn tortillas mm -hmm. and put some steak in there, we can say that's an authentic taco now. Maybe yeah. No one would ever say it. <laughs> Cause we would just hate on on Taco Bell. <laughs> well, uh, and just to let you know, I'm not no super Taco Bell fanboy or anything. It's just I just find it funny when people be like, "Oh, this is not true." I'm not saying Taco Bell in particular, but just anything. Oh, this is not authentic. I'm like, what makes it authentic? I mean, I can understand the American taco, like hard shell ground beef, lettuce, tomato. Mm -hmm. Man, you guys say that. But whenever I see a place that serves a tortilla with some little steak, or uh, cilantro, and all that stuff, I'm like, I can get this from anywhere. Mm -hmm. What makes yours is all thing and not this one. No? Yeah. <clears throat> like one of my favorite taco spots here is Grab and Go. Mm -hmm. But okay. based off the, the name and probably like the look of it, people probably think, oh, oh this is not authentic. Mm -hmm. But they definitely have authentic tacos, I believe. Um, I always get, obviously, they're so. not authentic. Yeah. What makes you think they don't? You never ordered. They could, but I don't think that they're an authentic restaurant. Why? There's Hispanics in the back cooking. Hispanics in the front <laughs> ordering, taking the orders. They got the so they got the tacos that people love. Yeah. No, Grand Go has probably some of the best tacos I've tasted. But I don't know. I don't think so. Mm hmm. I'll be tripping. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. <coughs> Something went down wrong. <coughs> I don't know why. I have to pack someone in the back. Why? Mm. Like, your hands are dirty. <sighs> your hands are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> my mom just always used to do that. You know when a baby shows me, you just pack them in the back? Uh huh. So now I just do that. <coughs> um. <clears throat> You miss New York? You want to go back soon? Mm-hmm. What's soon? <coughs> Next month soon. Next month? Yeah, my family is so spoiled with me constantly. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. It's okay. With me constantly going back. <coughs> this is active. You okay? Yeah. yeah, they're so spoiled that they just keep calling. Me. When are you coming? When are you gonna come? When are you gonna come? You okay? <coughs> Think water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they're so spoiled when we constantly going back to New York that they're just like, um, so when are you coming back? Like, you haven't been here. I'm like, oh, so. <coughs> oh, so. <coughs> yeah. I want to. Um, but I'm just waiting on one of my friends. She's like opening a restaurant. I'm waiting for her date. Because obviously I want to be there for her grand opening. 
What kind of restaurant is it going to be? A Jamaican restaurant. Is it going to be authentic? Oh, yeah. How is that going to be authentic? But is she from Jamaica? <laughs> she is. She's Jamaican. Her no, mom. Is, she, is she Jamaican or is she from Jamaica? She's Jamaican. But was she born in Jamaica? No, she was born in New York. Okay, so what's making her stuff authentic? <laughs> Well, her parents have both owned Jamaican restaurants. I think she was just brought up around it. Um, yeah. Mm. Her mom owns two restaurants in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is going to be her first restaurant. Mm -hmm. And her mom's restaurant is banger. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's called Caribbean Star if you're in New York. Check them out. They're okay. good. I have to take you there. Not only is their food good, but their drinks are good. <sighs> A, and I know you love jerk chicken. I'm a stickler when it comes to my jerk chicken, though. I promise you. And their jerk sauce, you guys. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so if I'm you like the jerk sauce, I can tell it's not good. What? The reason why I say that is I like my jerk sauce spicy. Mm hmm You don't like spicy stuff, so. I mean, when it comes to jerk, it's going to be spicy, but. I don't so like I don't know what like kind that. of. Yeah, so. I don't like it sweet. Yeah, their jerk is sweet. Uh -uh. Cause it kind of offsets like how spicy the chicken is alone. Cause your chicken alone is spicy, right? Because of the rub. The so then the jerk sauce is a little sweet, a little spicy. It's so good. I don't know. Mm, I gotta take this from jerk chicken from Chicago. Mm. Mm. It's the best jerk chicken I ever had. Yeah. <clears throat> I went to a barbecue at her parents' mm -hmm. house. Um, some of the best food I've ever had at a cookout before or a barbecue mm -hmm. and uh, Disha <clears throat> did the, she did the lamb chops mm -hmm. oh my god <clears throat> that was the first time I ate lamb chops like they were from another planet because I've had them before but it wasn't crazy I'm not a fan of lamb chops yeah me either but I promise you if you ever had Disha's lamb chops you'd be you'd like, be like all right I see what the hype is about I have to taste some um it's the flavor, the taste, I don't know, the, the flavor of the meat to me is kind of hectic. It's very gamey. <clears throat> yeah. Lamb, the meat alone is very gamey. I don't mm. love it either. Yeah. But. When it's made in season. It looks properly. like it's good. Yeah. Like, when I look at lamb chops, I'm like, that looks good. Yeah. If it's seasoned right, then you don't taste that gamey taste. Mm. And it's pretty good. But the first time I had them, I think the first and only time was at a place called Brio, oh, which is no. a main chain restaurant. That's horrible. You know, you know Brio. Yeah. Yeah. It's an Italian, Tuscan, whatever restaurant. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> that should not have been your first. Yeah. No wonder why you're like so awkward. <clears throat> I've had bad lamb chops. I've had amazing lamb chops. Only if people know how to make it does it taste good. Other than that, it could get hectic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, you like to cook? What what kind of meat do you like to cook? Um, I don't know. I guess chicken. I'm not. I'm not big on meat. Shrimp. I'm just not big on meat. <laughs> salmon. I can make a good salmon. <laughs> Why you like that? You need to learn how to make some steak. <laughs> that is one meat that I have to tell mm -hmm. you. I do not know how to cook it. I don't know how to make a steak. I'll probably learn, but like my mom was never like, let's make steak. Or Your like, mom likes steak? No, we never cooked like steak. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if my brothers know how to grill steak. Your brothers don't like me? They look like meaty people who like meat. Yeah, I'm sure they like it, but we don't cook it. Like, when we have our barbecues, there's like... Is there anybody who's a vegetarian in your family? No, no one is vegetarian. Mm. Yeah. No mm. one is vegetarian, but nobody eats, um, <clears throat> eats meat like that. <laughs> anybody in your family bigger? My Not brother. Yet. Which one? I mean, like big. Well, no, not not like big. Um, so maybe my everybody dad. in your family is really fit, pretty much. <clears throat> well, you talking about immediate family or just like yeah, immediate family? No. My older brother, he's probably like your size. <clears throat> the one I seen, 
when he was on the phone with Best Buy that just had a baby that said, come out down here for the baby? Uh, yeah. That one? He didn't look big. <clears throat> well, he's not like, you know, I don't think you're big. You're just like, you're in between. In between what? In between like, small and big. <laughs> and medium. Is that medium? Yeah, I feel like you're medium. Like, I feel like I'm medium. Uh -huh. Like, I don't consider myself a big girl, but uh -huh. I'm not small either. Uh -huh. I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the middle. Uh -huh. I feel like you're in the middle too. Because uh -huh. <clears throat> I've been with big, and you're not big. You've been with a fat guy? Yeah. <laughs> like, it wasn't a relationship. Um, but what was it? How was it? So, what was it? Like we were getting to know each other, we we were we went on a couple of dates. Uh -huh. You know, we hung out. We actually ended up being great friends. He ended up being like one of my best friends for a while. Did your friends on the big guy? Uh, <laughs> I did friends on him, but not because he was big. Uh huh. I didn't. I swear. I friends on I friends on him because he he did something dumb. So I was like, you're friends on. But he understood why, we, you know, and then we ended up just being friends. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just had to let him know, like, you pissed me off, so. So after we got through that, we were able to be great friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it wasn't because he was big. And when I tell you he was big, I'm talking, like, 300 pounds. Big. How tall was he? He was tall, though. He was See, six something. Yeah, if you're six something, 300, I feel like... You could probably still look like me. <clears throat> no. Yeah. He looks a little bigger than you. Yeah. Because you're not that far off. You're what? Five? Five ten? Nine. Oh. All right. I well. Wish I was ten. Yeah. All your brothers are six foot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all my brothers are tall. And yeah, you're probably going to have uh, taller kids because if all your brothers are tall, then you're not the average height. What are you? You're five four, right? Yeah, I'm 5'4", my sister's 5'4". My mom is like your mom's size though, like 4'11 or 5 foot. My mom is small. And my dad is 6 something. Mm. But I feel like the kids come out taller and then their kids come out taller. So like my sister's son, he's like 6 foot like 4. He's so tall. Your sister's son? My older sister. Oh, let's say, how old is that? that look, how old is he? <laughs> no, I'm probably still young, but he's tall for his age too. Hmm. If I have a tall kid, he's going to the NBA. <laughs> Without a choice. No we have problem. this conversation all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what if your kids want to do something else? I mean, you can, you can do it. But I'm telling you, you could train, you could make your kid athlete. <laughs> Any kid has the potential to be an athlete. It's really about what the parents put in their mind in the beginning. <laughs> or what they're passionate about, you know, not Correct. Really. I'm gonna let him choose, but I'm gonna lead him in a way I'm like, I love basketball, son, let's watch basketball. Let's go play basketball together. And usually kids, you know, they're uh, very, uh, what's the word? Uh, they love what their parents do. Yeah, you know? they're very impl they, they're yeah. influenced by their parents. So if he's seeing me watching basketball all the time, you know when basketball season's here, that's me all day. Yeah. I'm all, I'm still watching highlights of basketball, and it's not even basketball season. Oh, yeah, they'll probably enjoy that, <clears throat> but probably not playing. Like, Amari loves to watch um, basketball or football with his dad, but when they go to the park, Amari cries because he does not want to play it. <sighs> I'm like, hush up! Grab this ball and I'm playing at you. I'm playing at you, Amari. I'm like, Amari's like, like, Mom, did that, that, tell that what I said. Don't tell me to hush y'all. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's funny. Some of the things that they be saying when they watch these videos. Oh, my goodness. Mm. They are so funny. And they're, <laughs> you guys, I can sit here and talk about them for days. But Aiden is way more interested. Um, than Amari. Like Amari keeps quiet, he stays in his lane. But Aiden, Aiden will call me, like, why did Dalvin do that? Or why did Dalvin call you this? Or um, why didn't you say my name? Or why didn't you show them my picture? Uh, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> he's like, I did a video with, with, with like my curls and I'm like showing my sister to show the difference in hair. Mm -hmm. And he's like, TT, why didn't you show them a picture of me? I'm a perfect example of beautiful curls. <laughs> yeah. So he's hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna collab with one of them one day. It'll probably be Aiden. Amari will be so shy. Aiden is the one that will be like chatty, chatty, chatty. <laughs> yeah, but you know, with kids, when they chat, they say anything. Oh, yeah. They can be real reckless. Oh, yeah. like, Whoa. <laughs> but that's what makes it fun because they're still innocent, though. But um, I love to like let kids just. It's be just themselves. like they be saying, so they be like, why does your belly stick? <laughs> <laughs> they would say those reckless stuff. <laughs> they would. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry for all the sneezing. Stuff just got caught up. I know. Today mm. we just vibed out. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. We're just we had, trying to pick up these little pieces from... Yeah, right now, like I said, we got a lot of technical difficulties. And let's pray that none of this content is lost because we got bangers in that chamber. And I hope we can drop them all for you. Yeah. We love you guys. Where can they find you at? You guys can find me on my socials, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at underscore Ellie Soul. That's E-L-L-I-S-O-U-L. And my YouTube channel, Ellie Soul. And make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. Follow us at the Chuck at Z-A-D-D-Y. C-H-U-N-K, C-H-U-N-K. But Z-C-C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the Z-C-C gang is on top. Let's get it!